It's time for the NEC Football Super 7 Countdown. Hello again, everyone. I'm Ralph Ventry. I have seven super plays to show you from week 11 in NEC football. We kick it off in the number seven spot. One day before the Denver Broncos did it, the Robert Morris Colonials showed us how to score two points the unconventional way. For a couple of points, it's picked up by Zach Cooper and he's off to the races. And the Colonials will get the conversion on the blocked extra point kick and return. Moving on to number six, but staying in Moon Township, prior to Zach Cooper's two-point conversion return, this happened. Vanilla right now on the sidelines and on the field. Carroll looking left the whole way, now flush to the right, throws, and the ball is picked up in midair. It's going to be returned for a Wagner touchdown, strutting down the near sideline, Santoni Graham. For play number five, we go to the NEC featured game of the week, Central Connecticut at St. Francis. CCSU quarterback Jacob Delgala and receiver Joey Fields have developed a nice rapport of late. Here's a 39-yard hookup between the two. We stay at St. Francis for play number four. It's one that epitomizes the Flash's blue-collar mentality. Fourth and goal to go, quarterback Zach Dreyer proves that where there's a will, there's a way. All inside the one. Wojkovic the fullback, Bagley the tailback. Dreyer on the quarterback keeper. They push, they push, and they push into the end zone for the touchdown. We return to Moon Township for play number three. Wagner visiting Robert Morris. Quarterback Alex Thompson with the fake, and he finds John Williams over the top. 68 yards, six points for the Seahawks. First down and 10, Drew Scott, by the way, I, I should say Drew <laughs> Allen made the stop on the play. Here's Thompson, play fake, throws downfield, over the shoulder, catch made by John Williams. He's off to the races, stiff arms Marcellus Grant, and he gets tackled. Wow. And they're going to say, fell into the end zone, that's going to be a touchdown. Play number two unfolded at Rooney Field in Pittsburgh. Duquesne hosting rival Sacred Heart and the Duke's All-American linebacker, Christian Kuntz, goes to work. The sack, the strip, the recovery, the score, and an NEC record. Kuntz ties former Bryant great Jeff Kovitz for first place on the NEC's all-time career sacks list. He has 29 and a half. And for the number one play, Back to Loretto we go. The St. Francis Red Flash on their way to clinching their first ever Northeast Conference crown. Quarterback Zach Dreyer, calm, cool, and collected, he finds Cameron Lewis for his first of four touchdowns on the day. So there you have it. As we've done every week this season, We've given you seven super plays from around the NEC. For NEC Front Row, I'm Ralph Ventry. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week on the Super 7.